Well, hello there, you all. This is Brenda, and I am back with you. I hope that you all are uh, once again doing well. Uh, I am off on another venture, another um, DIY project here in my house. I am getting ready to turn one of my spare bedrooms into a TV room. And uh, what I want to do is try to do that pretty much uh, with all free items I need. I already have the TV in there. Uh, I uh, need a sofa possibly, or just maybe two recliners. I don't know, but it's gonna be the version of uh, a female's man cave. <laughs> so what I'm getting ready to do right now is I am actually, I found on, um, excuse me with the camera, I found on Facebook Marketplace uh, this recliner and actually it is a uh, part of a whole looks like a part of a sectional that they just kind of took the um, took the um, one of the recliners out of but hey it has the cup holder it has uh, you know uh, it reclines so in my mind it is perfect for that room because i don't need anything big so i am actually on my way right now uh, to go take a look at it and the biggest thing right now is whether or not it's going to fit in my car but the biggest biggest thing is the fact that it's free so um, i'm going to try my best to do because look y'all i'm on a tight budget and uh, this lady this retired bargain lady does not have a lot of money to be spending on um, different house projects right now. So my goal is to try to find as much free items as possible. Um, I am going to uh, try to deck it out um, <laughs> as much as I can with what I already have. So let's get this show on the road. Uh, the person is not that far from where I live. So I'm gonna go there now and see whether or not uh, it uh, looks like what it does online and whether or not it's gonna fit in my car. That's the biggest thing. So uh, come with me on this journey, okay? And let me get backed up out of here. All right, so I am safely backed out of my driveway. I have put my address in my uh, GPS and I am headed to the location uh, to check this recliner out. Um, thank God my grandson is at home this morning. So if it works out, uh, I can uh, hopefully put him to use and because it's on my, my the bedroom is on the second floor of my house. So I, he has to always help me get things upstairs. So, um, but anyway, you all, I'm gonna uh, mosey on down uh, this road and uh, get this thing uh, taken care of. And when I get there, I'll pull you back in, okay? So let me get my hands on the wheel and I uh, put this phone down. All right, y'all, talk to you in a minute. Okay, so I have just arrived at uh, my location and I am getting ready to um, let them know that I'm here. So, um, you know, once I uh, see the recliner, then I'm going to show it to you before I actually make my decision whether or not I'm going to actually get it and whether I can get it in my car. I forgot my measuring tape, y'all, but hopefully it's going to work. Hopefully. So while I'm waiting for them to um, come out, um, I've told them that I'm here. So um, this is the trunk of my um, SUV. It's a Chevrolet uh, Equinox, and typically, you know, I have no problems with, um, you know, fitting stuff in it. Sometimes it might be, um, maybe um, the, the, the length of it uh, may um, cause my trunk not to shut down. So I generally travel with quite a bit of uh, bungee cords, as you can see, and I have rope. So I usually try to come ready just in case I need to tie the trunk down. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully it'll fit. If not, then I may have to pass it up. But we shall see. Okay, you all. So here is the chair. And I am loving it already. I think this is going to be perfect for my she cave. My... Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah. So the trick now is to see whether or not I can get it inside my car. So let's try to see how this is going to work out. All righty. Okay, so we got it in the car, but I am going to have to use my faithful uh, bungee cords to tie my 
uh, hood down because uh, obviously it's not going to um, fit all the way in there without me tying it down. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick. And she also has another item that she's going to let me have for free. And uh, she's going to get it right now. And I am so excited. So Mrs. MacGyver has gotten it all secured down. And um, like I said, I'm only about 10 minutes away from uh, where I am. So um, it should be okay. And let me show you this really quick. Uh, this is a footstool, a leather footstool that she had. And she said she just wanted to get rid of some stuff that she had. She said, pick what you want. And uh, she let me have this big old nice footstool for free. And so that was something that I was going to want um, in my she cave. <laughs> so, all right, y'all, I'm headed back to the house and uh, going to get it out the car. And so I'll be back with you soon, okay? I am back home and um, so right now I'm gonna have to try to figure out um, see if I can get this out of my car um, right uh, myself my grandson um, he's here but he worked last night cat home really late so I don't really want to bother him right now uh, so I am going to try to see if I can at least maneuver it out of my car enough to get it inside the garage it's nice and sunny out here today y'all really pretty uh, one of those really nice fall crisp days uh, mornings because it's not gonna last and it's still it's still getting about 80 something degrees here so all right well let me just get this um show on the road to see if i can get it out of the car i'm always trying and doing something but hey i didn't spend no money though didn't i <laughs> let's see all right, through all this um, <laughs> Hercules woman did it. I got it out of the um, trunk of my car. Right now, it's just still sitting uh, right here um, in the driveway. Uh, let me just show you. This is the footstool. And um, I really had... It's so funny because I um, knew that I wanted to have a footstool. And uh, she... This is leather. Excuse me for my shadow. But she allowed me to have that one for free. And let me tell you the story about the, um, let me see if we can get back here so we can see, <laughs> the story about the um, recliner. And I hope you can see it because I don't know what the sun is doing or not doing. Um, now, it is free. It does have some little damages on it that can be cleaned up. Um, so what she said what happened they have uh, a big old huge uh, sectional leather sectional uh, in their family room and she said when they purchased it this piece came with it it was an extra uh, piece that came with it and she said that all the years that they have had it they didn't need it so they finally decided to go ahead and um, just you know get rid of it so as you can see right here it has the cup holder uh, it's got the little um, thing right here for um, whatever you want to use it for and then it has the buttons let me show you so you can see it it has the buttons that um, let me see if I can get it to recline let's see okay it's the button here okay I can't do it right now but um, oh no I can't oh yeah here it is okay so so that works well with the reclining and uh, as I said it's just need a lot of cleanup work but hey you know that's that's no problem and so, so if you can see right there there are some scratches that there's some stuff that you can some leather um, repaired stuff that you can buy and uh, fix those scratches but hey two free items they're excited about it and like although i said it's it is an attachment to um a sectional but um hey <laughs> i'm gonna attach it to <laughs> i'm gonna attach it to my knees so anyway y'all i'm very excited and uh one other thing that i want to show you before i leave uh before i uh, end the video is i'm going to actually show you the before of my um uh, of the spare bedroom that I'm getting ready to make over. So once I do that, then we're gonna um, 
this is part one and then I'll come back again uh, with part two okay so I am going to show you the spare bedroom the before condition only if you promise not to judge me <laughs> for a long time this was my spare bedroom I have four bedrooms in my house and this was one of the uh, spare rooms one of my rooms I'm um, actually um, I have a border in it and uh, so this room is um, just really a room that rarely gets used because I rarely have overnight guests that comes so uh, once my border leaves then I can go ahead and reset uh, that room up again for a spare room just in case I have a company that comes to visit so uh, what I'm gonna do as I said is go ahead and the reason that it looks like a mess now because the bed that I had in here I actually took the mattresses out and put them in my granddaughter's bedroom when I did her makeover so my plans were to buy another bed and all that but I said you know what I want to really um, use the room so uh, what I'm gonna do I uh, took this wall hanging out of my bedroom, out of my master bedroom, uh, or as the, the, the terminology now is my primary bedroom. And um, I'm going to hang that up on that wall. Um, of course, the iron board and all that stuff is coming out, you know, the pillows. And so what I did this, if those of you who have been around for a while, if you can remember this TV and table was in my um, master bedroom for a long time so I decided that I no longer wanted to have a big old TV like this in my bedroom because it was really impeding upon my ability to sleep at night so I moved it over here and my granddaughter cannot wait to get this set up as our uh, she cave so <laughs> so that's why I was so excited about getting that um, recliner and I'm gonna put uh, probably a sofa or maybe uh, a sectional, I don't know. But whatever I find, it's gotta be free, a little bit of nothing. So, um, hey you all, I'm just gonna say this. I have the same carpet in my house that I've had, and I've been in here for almost 16 years. The carpet is shot, and I am wanting to replace all of the carpet in my house, but it takes time and it takes money. So that is my goal. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is and let me show you all this this is a shame so i spray painted uh, a headboard um, a while back and very stupidly i didn't put down any drop cloths up under the head uh, what well, was the footboard and the headboard and as you can see i got some of the black paint on the carpet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, get a carpet cleaner to come in and just clean all of the carpet um for now and then I'm going to get a large, probably eight by 10 rug uh, to put down on the floor in here. So that will probably be the only thing that I would more than likely spend money on is finding um, a large enough rug to cover um, a, a large portion of the carpet. Um, so I am excited about it. I uh, will probably put up new um, curtains to the window and I am going to be replacing as <laughs> you know what you all I'm from the old school and unfortunately I have still a lot of the metal uh, um, curtain rods in my house all over my house so my goal um, hopefully by the first of the year I want to start replacing uh, those metal rods with more up-to-date uh, rods uh, all over my house um, so but anyway but that is pretty much the before stay with me stay tuned and um, I'm very excited about the free items that I got today that I'm going to incorporate in this uh, makeover and uh, I want y'all to stay tuned for um, I don't know if part I doubt very seriously if part two would be the finality of it but uh, just stay tuned and I guarantee you that when I'm done you are going to be um, very uh, Happily amazed, huh? I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> well, anyway, you all, thank you so much for going with me on uh, my journey today to pick up those three free items. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to leave them downstairs in my garage for now until I can get some of the prep work done here uh, in, my, uh, in this bedroom. I'm not going to do any painting because I painted these walls less than a year ago and I'm not going to repaint them again. 
So uh, stay tuned, you all, and I hope that you enjoyed the video today. Click like if you did. Leave your comment in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all very much. I love you all very much. Bye-bye.